What's up you guys, it's Mike here. So with the stock market tanking due to coronavirus, Fiverr is still a great option for making money online. But if you wanna get a piece of that action, you need people to actually click and buy your gigs. That's where this video comes in. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a gig thumbnail for your Fiverr gigs using Canva. Canva is an awesome free tool that operates in your web browser. It's powerful, it's free, it's awesome. What's not to love? So yeah, I'm gonna show you how to use Canva to make sharp looking Fiverr gig photos to help them sell better. Better looking gigs get more interest. Gigs that get more interest sell better. Gigs that sell better, put more money in your pocket. So let's get started. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get some inspiration. It's no secret that in marketing, certain things, colors, or designs are more visually appealing to certain people than others. Now, I'm not a pro designer, and if you're watching this video, I'm assuming that you're not either. So if you wanna create a Fiverr gig thumbnail that gets noticed and is awesome, we're gonna start by getting some inspiration. How I personally do this is I start by combing through my LinkedIn and Facebook feeds. I try to spot ads that that pop up or get served to me that resemble or match uh, what I have in mind for my Fiverr gig thumbnail and the style that I'd like it to portray. This is usually a great place to start because there's ads being served up on LinkedIn and Facebook all the time. Now LinkedIn and Facebook aren't the only two places to get inspiration from advertisements, but they are a great place to start. Depending on who you follow and what types of ads get served up to you, Twitter might be a good option as well. Or if you wanna go really old school, just take a walk around your city and look around billboards, you know, window ads in banks, grocery store shops. There is design inspiration for advertisements everywhere around you. Just open your eyes on your commute, take a look around, and pull inspiration from the things that you're being served up without even noticing every day in your daily life. There is one thing though that I'm gonna tell you to watch out for, and that's advertisements focused on marketing products. A lot of people on Fiverr that I see have gig photos and thumbnails that just look spammy. They look like those going out of business type of sale ads, you know, huge discount, sale, cheap. You don't want to do that. When, if you're following my videos and you're watching how to make money on Fiverr, you're selling a service that provides value, not really a commodity. You know, you don't want someone to be thinking discount or sale when they look at your gig. So when finding inspiration, try to stick to, you know, referenceable ads that are being used for enterprise companies, uh, businesses, more B2B and professional. You don't want to be viewed as that bargain basement seller. And also, given that so many people are using that type of advertising, advertising in their thumbnails on Fiverr. You also wanna stay stick out from the pack, right? You don't wanna just blend in with everyone else when someone's searching for gigs on Fiverr. So keep that in mind when trying to find your inspiration. All right, so for this video, I found two examples of advertisements that I think are great references and would translate really well into a Fiverr ad. Here's one I found on LinkedIn from Forbes. You know, it has a nice gray background with two colors, black and red. This one caught my eye because of how well it stood out from all the other stuff going on in my LinkedIn feed. It's simple and very easy to read. It makes me think that this would be a great option for showcasing services easily and effectively among the mess of other ads on Fiverr. Here's another one I found from Twilio. Again, just like the Forbes ad, this one is pretty simple. Three colors and a very basic design. What I love about this one is how easily it stood out to me and how my eyes were drawn to the text and you know that find out how button. It was just really easy to see. So both these examples are awesome, but for this video, I'm gonna use the Forbes example for the ad that I'm gonna show you how to create uh, for your Fiverr thumbnail in Canva. And again, I'm gonna warn you, don't rack your brain over this. Designs change, trends change, preferences and themes that designers follow change all the time. We're just looking for something that is good enough. Most of the ads on Fiverr are pretty bad anyways. So all you really are looking for is something that looks good and clean and is better than bad. So if we can make something that looks better than bad, you're gonna be ahead of most other people on Fiverr. All right, so you have your reference work that you found on LinkedIn. Now you need to fire up Canva and get started. Remember, Canva is a web application, so open up a web browser and go to canva.com. All right, so once you're here, you can log in with either Google or Facebook by default. You can also sign up and create an account with your email. I'm gonna go ahead and log in with Facebook because that's what I already have an account with. So once you get here, there's a number of different options or design templates you can use, and Canva's awesome for this, but since we're following a template here, I'm just gonna create a design and enter in uh, Fiverr's recommended dimensions for thumbnail images. It's 550 by 370. You can make it bigger, but I'd recommend following and abiding to this ratio so that if you're making something bigger for higher resolution, you're not losing anything to the sides. 
Once you get in here also, I'm gonna create a second workspace and I'm gonna use this workspace to paste my reference material. I'm just gonna use this so I have it handy and I can match up the colors and things like that. Once I have that there, the first thing that I'm gonna do is add the background color. So you click backgrounds and at the top there, you have your swatch or your color palette and you can pick the background that makes the most sense. I'm gonna try my best to get the color to match as closely as possible. I mean, if you really wanted to get microscopic here, you can copy in the color code and paste it in that bar under the swatch. But um, just for this example, I'm gonna eyeball it and I think we got this pretty close. Once the background is set, I think the next thing that you're probably gonna wanna do is start off with your main text. Now, whenever I'm putting up a five or gig thumbnail, I, have a, I try to keep a couple of things in mind. I want to be descriptive as to what the gig entails, but I also want to include a couple of buzzwords that uh, are related to my gig, but might also serve as jump off opportunities for related gigs. So in this example, I'll pretend I'm a professional resume writer, but I'll also inclu include cover letter and executive and LinkedIn just so that if someone is searching for either resumes or cover letters, they'll be able to see this uh, gig thumbnail and know that I do more than just resumes or I do more than just cover letters. So once I added the text, I'll center it to you know about where I think it should be. And then I'm gonna start filling out the other sections uh, that are in my example. So the next thing is at the bottom left, uh, it, there's a name section. So for this example, I'll make up a name uh, and under the name, you can add a subheading. You can really put whatever you want here. This is an opportunity for you to personalize your gigs. Uh, for this example, I'm just gonna put something like pro writer or writer extraordinaire, uh, something to add some life and some personality uh, to this thumbnail. Because the reality is a lot of people are gonna see this in the search results and uh, you just really wanna differentiate yourself from everyone else. I think that uh, the overall design of this being you know, pretty minimalistic is gonna do a great job of doing that. But um, you know, adding in your own creative flair or humor wherever you can makes sense as well. And this left section is a great place to do that. So I'm gonna align everything to the left as well, just so that it's following the format um, of the Forbes example. Now, I'm just gonna center this. And the next couple things that we have left is there was a black line at the, yeah, so a black line at the bottom and then an arrow and it says Forbes in the bottom right. So I'll start with a black line, really easy. Canva actually sells certain shapes. So for this one, I just used the free line. I'm gonna change the color to black. So again, super easy. There's literally three colors on this template. Um, next I'll do the arrow, so again, one of the free arrow options, I'm gonna rotate it and I'm gonna point it at professional just to kind of highlight that and show your viewers or guide their eyes for where you want them to start looking. Change that to red and we're pretty much done. Now I'm gonna add something in the bottom right. Oh, just highlight her name. But in the bottom right, I think it'd be cool to just throw Fiverr up. Um, it'll make it look pretty professional and we'll just frame off this thumbnail really, really nicely. So we'll resize that and put it at the bottom right. And we're pretty much done here. All that's left is to publish and download your image and it'll be saved as a, a zip file so it won't take up too much space and you're good to go. How long was that? Three, four minutes? That's how long it took me to create this and I personally think it looks awesome. It's gonna serve as a great thumbnail for any Fiverr gig. Obviously I'm not using this one because it's an example, but this just goes to show, you know, over the span of 10 minutes, you can really put a little bit of effort in that's gonna create a thumbnail using Canva, totally free, that's gonna look awesome and influence your sales on Fiverr. It's really a great strategy and I think you should try it. So that's all I have for you today. If you haven't already, hit the like button. That helps me and motivates me to put out more videos and click subscribe. You know, I really think Fiverr is an awesome platform for sellers, you know, especially in the wake of things like coronavirus. It's a great option for people looking to work remote or the comfort of their own home or isolate themselves from, you know, anyone else really. So subscribe to the channel, like, and thanks for watching. Cheers. <laughs>